For generations, gypsies and travers have faced persecution. We are among the eldest ethnic minority in the country, and yet we still face much prejudice and discrimination. This is a barrier for gypsies and travellers in accessing education, health, employment and accommodation. Yes, I'm a traveller and I live in Newham and my family have been in Newham for over 100 years, so gypsies and travellers have always been here. For years we have faced many battles for our culture to be accepted and recognised. One important step forward is the 2011 census. For the first time there is a box that gypsies and travellers can tick. This will tell the government and councils that gypsies and travellers are here, we do exist and we want to be counted. This DVD is to help gypsies and travellers know more about the census, to give some reassurance about filling in the form and to explain how important the census is for the community. My name is Selena Kiley and I work for London Gypsy and Travel Unit and we're here to tell you about the 2011 census. The census is a questionnaire sent to everybody in England and Wales um, every 10 years um, and it's mostly used to count how many people are in England and Wales and the government and the local counties use it for planning. The 2011 census is very important for Gypsy and Travellers because for the first time in history um, there's a Gypsy and Traveller box which we need Gypsy and Travellers to tick. I would say to all travellers, uh, the council don't know who you are if you don't tell them. It's not an invasion of your privacy. Everybody in Britain's got to do it. If you want to say it, and if you want to keep to the, the traveller tradition, tell them who you are. It's important that Gypsy and Travellers tick the box so that we're counted as an ethnic minority. So in the future, when planning is being done, Gypsy and Travellers will be included in the planning. As an Irish traveller, I can understand that some people would be very concerned about you know, putting their personal details in here and what it's going to be used for. It's important that people understand that it's, it's, it's the law that no personal details can be passed on to anybody. All that they want is their numbers um, to provide for the future. If Gypsy and Travellers don't tick the box, they're not going to be counted and they're not going to be provided for in the future, which means no sight to Gypsy and Travellers. On page 8 of the, of the questionnaire, under question 16, what is your ethnic group? For the first time ever, under white, you have white, English, Welsh, Scottish, Northern Irish, British, and then there is Irish and then Gypsy or Traveller. The majority of Gypsy and Travellers live in houses and this is a way of counting Gypsies and Travellers as an ethnic minority group for planning. If you want to say it, and if you want to keep to the, the Traveller tradition, tell them who you are. This is a picture of my um, grandparents. Um, and I use a census to trace both grandparents on my dad's side back until the 1700s. So I was able to access uh, my great grandparents, my great great grandparents, and all of their children and their families, and trace where they lived and um, where they moved to different parts of the country, into London, out of London, where they, you know how many children they had, what they were doing. So the census was very important for me because I was able to, I didn't think I was going to be able to access the information because they were gypsies and they were moving around and you know they didn't have, they couldn't read or write so I, I thought there's no way there's going to be, they're not going to be there, they're not going to be recorded but they are there. My grandchildren, great grandchildren, children have to come, will know where I came from and know where they came from. It's nice for them really to know this is my family. This is where I'm from. When you take the box, it's not alone for yourself. It's for your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, and for the generations to come. In a hundred years' time, your great-great-grandchildren will look back and say, well, my grandfather took that box, and now I can trace him back to where exactly my grandfather and grandmother, mother and father, whoever is in their family was on that date. I can trace back my ancestry, and I can trace back my history, and I know I belong. Gypsies and Travellers don't have the option not to fill in this form. Everybody in England and Wales will get one of these forms from the 15th of March. You will have from the 15th of March to the 6th of April to fill in this form. The thing about this form is that this information is kept secret. Nobody's going to find out about this. Not the councils or anybody. And the government have to keep this for a hundred years. 
before they disclose anything. You're going to be a number, you're going to be stored for 100 years and it'll tell the government that you are there and you exist. You have no choice but to fill out this questionnaire. If they don't receive the questionnaire by the 6th of April then somebody is going to come knocking on the door and ask for the questionnaire. The best thing you can do, if you don't want people coming around knocking at your door, is have it back to them by the 6th of April. Because otherwise, if they have to come after the 6th of April, so many times that it's not worth their while, they're going to bring you to court and they're going to find you a big fine. It's a thousand pound, I understand. So as soon as you get this form, and if you're able to fill in the form yourself, please do. But if you can't, get support to fill in this form because it's very important that the form is filled in and returned by the 6th of April. You may need help and support in filling in your form maybe because you can't read and write or maybe you don't understand the questions. If in any way you need help, from the end of March to the end of April, the London Gypsy and Travel Union in Westgate Street in Hackney have a clinic to help anybody with any questions or any help they need in filling in their forms. We know that lots of gypsies and travellers can't read and write and filling in this form will be difficult. So you can get support filling this form and you can go um, locally, someone from your local council, there should be someone within the census department there that can offer support in, uh, in filling in this form. If you can't access that support, then we at the London Gypsy and Traveller Unit are going to be offering support sessions to fill in the form on a Monday and a Friday until the end of April.